I have $5,000 and I'm looking for a snake. But don't tell Lori. Ball pythons can be really expensive. And some ball pythons can cost thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars. And I don't buy a whole lot of expensive snakes these days. This snake in particular, genetically, it's a really big powerhouse animal. It's worth about $6,000. And I'm sending this $5,000 off to my buddy Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons. <laughs> Mom's gonna kill you. He has a really amazing, crazy collection of ball pythons. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check him out. Here's the thing though. I told him that I wanna be surprised. I'm sending him this much right here I told him to pick whatever he wants and surprise me a complete mystery snake who's that Pokemon what if he sent you a normal well I did say any snake you're getting a Cobra well I hope not the money is off to Miguel I am so excited to see what he's gonna send me what did you do I actually sent some money to Miguel for a new snake how much money did you send well I sent him five thousand dollars cash how did you do that I just FedExed it to him what if it gets lost I really didn't even think about is it even legal to do that I don't know so I'm calling my bank right now to see if it is legal to actually send money like that. I should have thought of it beforehand. Yeah, hi, this is Brian over at the Rep Terum. How are you? Is it legal to send cash across state lines? It's okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Good news, it turns out it is legal to send cash, so we're okay. But it still could get lost. Yeah. That's a good point. You're so screwed. We have the envelope that my good friend Brian Barche sent me. At first I thought he was playing around. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, he was serious. You crazy bastard, dude. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of money here. I have to count this out because I'm very curious. I mean, if this really is it. So give me one second, guys. 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have it, $5,000. Thank you very much, man. So now here's where the fun begins. Let's go see what I can surprise you. I'm telling you, he's gonna send you a normal. Be real, like realistically, I can't. I mean, send them a normal. I certainly have a lot of amazing snakes. This is actually a Super Pastel Lesser Leopard Clown Ball Python. That is a banger, no doubt about it. But I kind of need to step my game up. Producing the same stuff for the last few years. So I needed that kind of infusion of something really amazing. The only thing I told Miguel is that I did want it to be a male so that when it's raised up, I can plug it into a bunch of stuff. Other than that, no idea what the genetics behind it, what it's going to look like. This is definitely going to step my game up. And again, Miguel is one of the people you definitely want to go to when you want to step your game up when it comes to ball python. To me, this is so exciting. I never thought Brian Barchick would be buying some snakes for me. I mean, we started this industry because of him. We got into this hobby because of him. But now, this guy's sending me the big bucks for the snakes. The only problem with this one, he would actually need about uh, 25 more thousand dollars for this guy. It can't be this guy. <gasps> you know what? Brian did start the sunset gene. The reason why I fell in love with it. it was actually using it for a banner. I could do this. A sunset clown. Maybe that had been offered $50,000. Brian, what do you think? I don't know. Brian also was the first person to make a scaleless snake. This right here is the world's first. Right here, we have a pewter vanilla scaleless because he wants something he's gonna be able to breed i got it you know what? i'm gonna just surprise him that can't even show it right here let's bag it up miguel just called he got the money it's all set what are we getting i actually don't know what we're getting what are you kidding me right now uh, yeah i just sent them the money i said surprise me i'm gonna surprise you uh, <laughs> i can't even believe that you would do something like that it's more fun <laughs> to not know what we're getting fun we have different definitions of Fine. You just worry way too much. It's gonna be okay. I'm telling you, it's gonna be normal. We have the snake fully bagged up now. We have the box ready right here. Put the little snake in here. Make sure we get the packing paper on him. Nice and cool. Okay. Throw a heat pack on there. We're gonna finish packing this bad boy up right here. As I drop it off, I'm gonna head somewhere else because I mean, I have $5,000 to my name now. Time to go drop off the steak. I don't know what I'm gonna be taking. Like I said, I'm heading out somewhere else with that money, so I think I'm taking this bad boy right here. $5,000 and a half grind steak. About to go drop it off, and then I'm gonna go head out to Vegas, cause you know what, I need a little break, man. Thank you, Brian, for all this, man. I really appreciate it, but uh... Much. Have a good day, you guys. You too. Damn, this box showed up. Oh, that is so awesome. Let's go. This. Can't believe I was sitting in the office waiting for this thing and you ended up getting it. I got it. So you ready to open this thing up? By the way, I just spent $5,000 on this box. Do me a favor and smash that like button. Who knows what's getting here, but I think it's gonna be an orange drain pie yellow belly. It's Miguel's healer monster. I think it's a hog nose. Cobra? And the time has come. I am beyond excited. Let's see. Uh, will you marry me? Please say yes. Yes, Miguel, I will. Again, link in the description to all Miguel's stuff. He's got some amazing content. A great friend of mine. Get off of me! So uh, let's just jump into this and see what we've got. Got a little bag. All right, you guys ready? Oh my God, I am so excited. Again, I've been thinking about this for at least a couple weeks. I can't believe we are finally here. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Ah! Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right, so 
Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is the trip of this whole thing. I don't even know what it is, guys. I actually saw on his Insta story the other day that he hatched this animal, but I don't know what the genetics are. He didn't actually put the genetics in here. I don't even know. Look at how incredible that snake looks. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's a boy. I know that he said he was sending a boy. Powerhouse animal. Ridiculous looking. There is no doubt about that. But the problem is, I don't know what the genetics are behind this. So I'm going to have to call Miguel up and ask him what it is. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous looking snake. This thing is an unbelievable ripper. Oh my gosh. So now once I figure out what the genetics are, I was obviously wrong about the pie. I thought it would maybe be something clown potentially. Turns out it's something else. Again, he posted this on his Insta story and I was like, wow, that, that thing, thing was, was incredible. incredible. So let's go ahead, call Miguel up and find out what the heck this snake is. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? Dude, I love this snake, but you didn't tell me what the genetics are. I know you posted something on Instagram, but I don't know what it is. So what is the genetics, man? Oh, the DG yeah. too. Yeah, so here's the thing. So it looks a lot different from any other ones that have been like that. So I'm hoping that's the, you know, that DG making it look that clean. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I love it. I just wanted to make sure I knew the genetics behind it. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you being on Belief, man. No worries, brother. All right. Good. I'll talk to you soon, man. Thanks, man. Bye. So basically, everything I breed that animal to will be a GHI because it's a super GHI. And then, of course, there's Mojave gene in there and yellow belly gene, and it's a heifer python. If I take it to a piebald ball python, I could actually get some GHI Mojave yellow belly piebald ball pythons. Those would be an absolute ripper, no doubt about it. Oh, man. If it was me, I'd have sent him a normal. Of course, I could take it to this Mojave that's heifer pie, too. Could produce some Mojave pie stuff, but also everything would be GHI. Could produce, again, more GHI Mojave. Mojave pies would be cool. Have that yellow belly gene in it. Now, unfortunately, because there's a Mojave in that gene too, I could produce some blue-eyed leucistic. Theoretically, could be pied blue-eyed leucistic. Uh, who, who knows? Regardless, there's a lot of things that I could do with that animal. Definitely a powerhouse when it comes to genetics. A beautiful snake and just a complete surprise. I had no idea what I was going to get and I'm excited that I can actually raise that guy up next year. Hopefully, it'll get big enough where we can actually breed it and produce some amazing things. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys, hit that subscription button right now because I'm going to be picking one of you some subscribers that subscribes today and I'm going to send you guys a little bit of a present from the Reptile Army. That's right, you'll get your swag from Reptile Army if you subscribe right now. So go ahead, hit that subscription button or head over to ReptileArmy.com. Man, I wish it was a cobra. Keep in mind, this animal could have desert ghosts in it. Like Miguel said, he's actually had the same genetics before, but it looks a little different, which means there's a good chance that there's desert ghosts in there. Game changer for sure, because I don't have any desert ghost stuff in the collection and I love it to death. So this little monkey goes into an enclosure and is going to start getting raised up. So Lori, here is the snake that Miguel sent. How much did you pay for this? It was five grand, but it was a deal because this thing is awesome. What is this? This is a Super GHI Mojave Yellow Belly Het Pie Possible Head Desert Ghost. It's a banger animal. <laughs> it's pretty though, right? All right, so this is, it's it's okay. Uh huh. It's okay, I don't mind the gene. I'm not really sure about the price tag on this. Right? Uh. Well, if you want, you can call Miguel and you can complain to him, I'm happy to. I think I might. You're going to? <laughs> okay, Miguel, watch out, Lori's coming for you. So there it is, I have a new cool snake with a bunch of really cool genetics that are adding to the rotation. Can't wait for it to get up to size to breed, that's amazing. By the way, I need a name for him. Let me know in the comment what your name suggestion is. Do me a favor, hit this playlist. You can watch a couple videos if you don't mind. Hit that subscription button. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.